Hello and welcome. I'm Nate 42 and in this episode I'm going to show you a little bit about Nandek, which is the deck creator that I am using to create cards for Project One. Okay, so Nandek is a uh, a, a program that you can get from the website uh, where you just 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 if you just uh, Google Na Nandek, uh, I'm sure you'll see this thing nands.it forward slash Nandek. You'll get this uh, website here. You want to download Nandek, which allows you to get the uh, tool. It does have some little um, things down here, some just uh, basic help that you can use. Uh, there's loads of different commands that you can use. You get reference here as well. And this gives you reference and some, I think, some uh, extra tutorials kind of thing as well. Uh, and there is also the FAQ, which may help or may not help. There's not really a huge amount in there, but it, it, it might help in, in certain situations. This is my um, my project folder on my on my Google Drive, I guess, uh, which has my Nandek folder in the VigQuest part. Uh, and as you can see, I have different pictures here, which I found online. Um, uh, these aren't going to be the final pictures. Uh, but they are going to be what we will use for now. Um, these are ones that I just found from Google search. Like these aren't like official pictures or anything like that, but yeah. Um, so these pictures, yeah, they were found on the website PIQ actually. So I think it's PIQ, Pixel Art Maker, this website here. Uh, it allows you to draw, go to gallery. I should want to leave here, okay. Uh, there's loads of different pics. I guess they call it, uh, which is like a, a pixel art thing. Uh, you can type in those different stuff in here. So I typed in claw, obviously, and I got the, the claw one here. And that gives you the assassin claws, which uh, is going to be used on one of the cards, potentially. But we'll definitely give attribution to people who uh, obviously have created this, this work, as it's not my own work, it's what other people have used. The website has stated that you can use it for free and also for um, non-free or commercial application as well so that's uh that's quite interesting and as you can see if you go down here onto the about part of this website it says under the legal stuff this means anyone is free to copy distribute transmit adapt and use the images commercially for free as long as they credit the creator of the original image um if you're not signed in the creators uh the image creator will be listed as anonymous and that will mean that it just has to get attributed to PIQ instead so that's really cool that's really interesting uh and yeah as I said before, these aren't going to be most likely the final pictures that we'll be using, but these are ones that I found on that website and I thought I should probably definitely give full disclosure for that. Um, so yeah, I opened up Nandek and I wrote this code in here. What this basically does is it creates a rectangle um, for the card. This uh, is a round rectangle and that gives the card its roundness. So it, each card will actually be a full square. Um, in this kind of shape. So this round rect actually curves the images, curves the edges, sorry, and creates a black outline for them curves. This defines that the font should be Verdana 16 and uh, yeah, all that fun stuff. Text here, this is just where the name tag will go. Uh, now the name tag is defined as per the link here. So if you go into, uh, where is it? loot card data you can go edit uh, and this is all the loot cards i mean it's there as well but yeah this is all the loot cards so you'll have name description img so name img desk so that is where that relates to so uh, any time that it sees a comma it will obviously go to the next thing that's what the csv file format does uh, and that's what they do best anyway uh, is separate data pretty much raw data so this is raw data here um and yeah so we're trying to create cards out of all of these ones so this will create the text name at the top um in the center this one will create the image and put that somewhere the rectangle will create the the uh i, I believe this is for the for the text box at the bottom this will change the font for that text box and then this will put the text box, uh, the text in that box and wrap the words around the box so that they don't leave the box unexpectedly. Now, 
uh, once you have all that down and you have all this in and you have all the GIFs there or the images or whatever you want to use, you can just validate deck. Uh, now the validate deck will validate that the deck is workable. Deck is now valid as it says down there, that's pretty quick. You can click build, build deck and now you can see all your cards over here. So we have the health potion here, it will give you, so uh, yeah, on here what I imagined up <laughs> was that the health potion give yourself plus five health up to maximum discard after use uh, and then let's see you got the next one so there's five health potions in the pack there's uh, five attack potions give yourself plus four damage discard after use so this is kind of like a a, a a booster card I guess you could call it uh, then you have loaded dice uh, this is one that I found off Google so um, yeah hopefully that one's okay hopefully they don't mind that I use that uh, temporarily Move the dice to any position you like, uh, then discard after use. Uh, I don't know why there's a line there. Yeah, there shouldn't be a line there. Maybe it's just a glitch. Oh no, it's an exclamation mark. Move the dice to any position you like. So you can use this, there's only two of them in the pack, um, and the pack is only like 16 cards I think. Um, there will be more later on. Obviously, I will need to get more stuff down, uh, but yeah, and I, I will definitely look to improve the quality or the look of this deck. I mean, look, it's pretty basic, pretty plain Jane at the moment, but it's it will be better in the long run. Uh, this is just a test because I just want to get the game out there. I want to get people playing it, and I want to make it uh, exciting to for people to actually play and and do stuff with. Uh, but yeah, then we have the battle axe. This is the battle axe usable by dwarf only. Um, it gives a plus five. Uh, you need to roll a d6 before each use. Uh, red arrows are for elf only, human only, and werewolf only one, which is the metal claws uh, for the werewolf. Um, and that is pretty much it. Uh, this is a very easy, effective way to m make a lot of cards all very uniform uh, and you know, export them to a PDF or a GIF or a TIFF, you know, you got all the different stuff here. You could just save it as a as a as a picture if you really wanted to, you, and you could just directly print the deck. It's great, it's really good. Now, one thing that you do want to do is probably print it on card, because card is a good way to actually print cards. Uh, I don't know if you maybe would have thought about that or not thought about that, but if you're gonna print these cards, it'll be best to print them on card. Uh, and card is notoriously kind of hard to print on so I will be doing that over for the next time uh, so yeah we'll see how that goes uh, I mean none of this stuff is um, part of the open source part of the game that will be going out I will just send the loot cards part of this but anyway that is the loot cards all done for the for the time being this is obviously version 1 um, when I have created the uh, or updated the images for this, I will put them in here and potentially upload that. This will go into the pack, which will be yeah. This is uh, going to be part one of that or, or the, the the alpha of that. Um, so yeah, look forward to it because I am I really am I'm hoping for the best and uh, yeah if you guys want to support then definitely check out the links in the description below there is uh, a couple of things on there I have a patreon if you want to help fund the uh, well this you don't have to use it I don't really mind either way but um, yeah I mean definitely I don't get any money from YouTube uh, anymore uh, because obviously I don't get enough views to do that um, or whatever but yeah you can always help by sharing as well that you can like uh, subscribe tell your friends all that kind of stuff uh, and that is it right now for me so don't forget to remember, subscribe let me think from it that's at nation 42 and thanks for watching